A square mirror has a 20 inch diagonal. What is the approximate perimeter of the mirror in inches? So I'm going to talk about two ways to think about this problem. First of all, it should be clear from the diagram that whatever the length of the diagonal is, 20, that has to be larger than the side of the square. And we know that the perimeter is going to be 4 times s, but that's going to have to be less than 4 times 20, which is 80. Because, again, the side has to be less than 20. Well, right away, that means that answer choices C, D, and E are out. So, and of course, in the GMAT, if you can eliminate answer choices and then guess from the remaining ones, that is to your advantage. Um, now, you may even be able to guesstimate looking at the remaining two answer choices. We have answer choice A, 40, answer choice B, 60. Well, this is two times the diagonal, and this is three times the diagonal. And if you estimate the length of that diagonal and how much of it would actually go around the square, you may see that two diagonals is not going to be quite enough to go around the square. So simply with estimating, you might wind up picking answer choice B. But now let's talk about how would you go about that slightly more mathematically than just estimating. Well, we know that this particular triangle this triangle here is going to be a 45, 45, 90 triangle. That's a very special triangle, the isosceles equilateral triangle. And you may remember from your study of special triangles that the ratios in this triangle are 1, 1, and root 2. Um, and again, it is highly worthwhile to review the two special triangles if that's something with which you're a little bit rusty. So I'm going to set up a proportion, 20 over s equals square root of 2 over 1, cross multiply, and that gives me 20 equals s times the square root of 2, divide both sides by the square root of 2, I get s equals 20 over the square root of 2, I'm going to do something called rationalize to simplify things a little bit. I'm going to multiply by square root of 2 over square root of 2. In the denominator, that gives me a 2. In the numerator, that gives me 20 times the root of 2. And then 20 divided by 2 is just 10. So the side simplifies to 10 root 2. And so 10 root 2 we know that the square root of 2 is more than 1 and less than 2. And so that means that the side has to be more than 10 and less than 20. And so that means that 4 times the side has to be bigger than 40 and smaller than 80, 4 times the side, which is the perimeter. So the perimeter has to be bigger than 40 and smaller than 80. Well, the only answer choice that fits in that range is answer choice B.